What's up captains, welcome back to the other decks, my name is Casual Dobo, and today I'm going to be presenting what I think is going to be probably one of the more prominent meta matchups that we'll see in OPO2, Smoker vs Zoro. I'll be piloting the Zoro deck, facing off against my friend Alex's Smoker list. So, I'll be making deck profiles for both of these lists, so if you want to check that out, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel, that way you catch all of the OPO2 uh, content that we're going to be putting out on the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay. All right, so here we are, we're still getting set up. I have a decision to make whether I mulligan this hand or not. And honestly, I kind of like it. I like that there is a search Nami in hand immediately. Uh, that Gordon is probably gonna put in work for some of the you know, higher powered characters that we know that the Navy, Black Navy has. Uh, and I also have Uta, um, so pretty happy with it. All right, so Smoker is gonna go first. So he goes ahead, draws a card, only has one Dawn. Trying to see what he's going to do. He is going to go ahead and put down uh, Bellamere. Honestly, very awesome card uh, for, for Black. So it's my turn. I draw into a Luffy, which is nice because I know that Black has a lot of blockers that might be on play. But got to do the obvious thing here. Turn one Nami. Go ahead. Look to see what straw hats I can pull out. And I ultimately decide to go with the Red Hawk. Just because I know he's probably going to put down a lot of lower characters. Plus, I'm a little scared of when that Garp is eventually going to come out. So, want to have Red Hawk in hand just in case. And then to finish off the turn, going to go ahead and play that Gordon. Really, maybe trying to bait out some uh, removal, but we'll see what happens. So, he does go ahead, put one Dawn onto Smoker, attacks me for 7k because he minus my Gordon. Um, and I just take it, I grab Robin from hand, and he does put down that Garp. Very lucky for me, I do draw into a Vista, which is <laughs> able to kill the Garp immediately. Can't keep that thing on the board. Then I go ahead, attach one Dawn onto Zoro, and attack for 6k. And he goes ahead and decides to take that hit. So I pass turn from there. Now he has five Dawn. Couple different options he can do here. Decides to go for just the plain old attack 5k. I'm a little suspicious of what he's trying to, you know, what he's trying to pull here, but ultimately uh, I do resolve the attack by countering. Sorry, I know that's a confusing string of words in that sentence. Alright, so that play happened a little fast, so let's go ahead and pause it here and just talk through what happened. So, for 2 Dawn, he ended up playing the Meteor Volcano, and then that ended up killing the Gordon. And then with the extra three, he does go ahead and deploy uh, Asuka, who is essentially uh, like Basil Hawkins uh, was in the Green Star deck. All right, now moves to my turn. I do draw into the um, Otama, which is going to become very useful for some of those removal abilities. But thinking here, what I want to do... So I go ahead and do a kind of interesting thing. I deploy Uta immediately. Um, pretty early on in the game, to be honest. Do grab Nico Robin back, mostly because she is a 1k counter. I'll go ahead and then uh, hit Zoro for 5. He ends up taking him, which surprises me a little bit. Um, but from there, just ending turn. I don't want to give uh, his Basil Hawkins Light uh, character uh, targets uh, for that effect to go off. So once again, he is uh, attaching 1 Dawn onto his smoker, attacking me for 7k. Ends up minusing uh, my Nami. And then here, I am going to Red Hawk here. Not sure if you forgot, but I do know in the match he mentioned how he regretted not putting some Dawn on her uh, so that uh, it wouldn't be, you know, uh, uh, targeted by uh, the Red Hawk. And then using four of that Dawn, he does play uh, the Kuzan, the normal super rare uh, for four, and leaves two Dawn up. Now moves on to my turn. I do find myself a Curly to Dan, which is an incredible searcher. Uh, first, gonna play uh, the Nico Robin, kind of set her up on board. Hopefully, she remains on there. Attach one Dawn onto Zoro, and then. I won't attack quite yet. Instead, I'm gonna put two Dawn onto Uta, and then swing in 7k into his leader's 5k. So he does counter here, and he does it with Impact Wave. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Impact Wave is a two-cost event card. It gives plus 4k to your leader or character, but also KOs uh, a target that is uh, three costs or less. It has to be active, and that's why my Vista goes down in this attack. 
So here I am going to go ahead deploy Curly to Dan. I'm trying to look for a one cost that can kind of help me here. Um, I see that there's a Sunny Coon, but I actually ultimately decide that Chopper is probably my best call here, just because. Uh, and uh, you'll see this in deck profile. I only run one of them. So as soon as I see Chopper, I want to go get him. Now I finally attack with my leader 6K into his 5K leader. He goes ahead and counters that. Probably not wanting to take more life, and I just simply end turn here. So next turn, he has a threatening amount of Dawn here. Uh, is going to use Belmere's effect to minus one to Nami, and then charge up his Kuzan, swinging 6K into Uta. Also minuses my Nico Robin, so lots of uh, cost reduction here. Does attach one Dawn onto Smoker. Is going to go ahead and attack me for 8K. Uh, not much I can do here, so I go ahead take the uh, hit and uh, end up getting Curly to Dan out of life. And then he's going to try once again playing that Asuka, trying to set her up. So moves on to my turn. I do have 10 Dawn, so I'm thinking probably best call, put down a really beefy character. So Whitebeard onto the board, does give my leader uh, 2k additional, and that lasts until uh, the end of my uh, opponent's turn. Put one Dawn onto Nico Robin attack into leader for 5k, but with that effect I do take out the Belmere. And he does ultimately take the attack as well. Here, oh, it moved a little fast. So what happened with this one is that in life, he actually got the Meteor Volcano, which he did trigger. So draw two, trash one, and you can't see it on the frame that I have here, but uh, he actually trashed a Kuzan from hand. And then now that I got him down to two life, thinking about pretty much a swing with leader. Um, so I go ahead and swing 7k into, uh, into his Kuzan. Nope, I psyched myself out. I'm actually going to swing 7k into his leader, trying to apply a little bit of that pressure uh, onto him uh, in terms of losing life. And then from here, I will end turn. All right, so he will go ahead and attack with his Kuzan. He's going to minus four my Edward Newgate, which kind of concerns me, and he's swinging into my Nico Robin. Um, I think I need to have Nico Robin out, so I do ultimately counter with Uta or uh, Otama, uh, making the attack not go through. And then he puts one onto Asuka and attacks into Robin again. And I'm thinking, do I want to waste the counter here or just let it through because she's going to freestand anyway? So I let her through. Nico Robin is KO'd and Asuka restands. So from here, he's going to attack into my leader uh, for 5k. I still have the 7k from the Whitebeard effect. Um, he, I, he said in game it ultimately didn't matter, and then he goes ahead, plays what I thought he was going to do, uh, that is Sakazuki, the character card, KOs my white beard, and then he sets up his Garp, hoping to uh, KO some of me later. So my turn now, I go ahead and attach uh, the one onto Zoro, get that Anthem effect going immediately. And then I'll play Curly to Dan, looking for another thing that could help me. Luckily, I do run into a Machino, so grab that, bomb deck the rest of it. And then I go ahead, play Machino, give that boost to Nami, because I want my, my Nami to be the primary attacker here. And then for maybe a little bit of Dawn efficiency, I do play the Brook. It does give me another body so that if for some reason things go terribly wrong, I can swing with him next turn, put the two onto Nami, and swing 8k into his 5k leader. Which he does counter out of, what is, uh, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so not much else I can do here, to be honest. So I am going to just uh, attack with Zoro into his leader. Uh, so 6k into 5k, see if he's going to take it, see if he's not, is he going to waste the counters here? He doesn't, ultimately takes the life, now I got him down to zero. And so here I'm, I'm really debating, do I go all in with Curly to Dan to attack, try and win this game here? I semi go in, I put three uh, Dawn onto her, 7k ultimately does counter out of it. So not sure if I could have been more aggressive adding that 1k, not really sure if it would have affected anything, um, but I did want the 1k uh, ultimately to play uh, the chopper, right? Add a blocker, let me live the next turn, and I replace Nami with chopper. 
So, past turn. He has a lot of scary things on board, so it's going to take a little bit of a miracle uh, to survive all this. And the first thing he does, smartly, <laughs> you know, uh, is put Dawn onto all of his characters so that if there is a uh, jet pistol in life, a lot of his other stuff isn't going to be targetable. Does put one onto a uh, smoker, has adds the effect onto a uh, chopper, and then with Garp, attacks leader, but also is going to KO the chopper. So he does swing 5k into my uh, 5k leader, but I do counter with Otama, making him 7. So he is going to use uh, Asuka um, to attack into my uh, Curly to Dan which ultimately doesn't matter because it is going to restand and therefore Curly to Dan is KO'd and then Asuka most likely going to hit my face. So no trigger, um, but I do have a new 2k counter in hand. Goes ahead, attacks with Kuzan into my leader, 7k. Once again, can't do anything about that. But from life, I get a Vista and another counter, more importantly. Now, 7k uh, Sakazuki into my 5k, and I'm thinking, here's where I need to be able to uh, counter. It is actually probably my only opportunity. So, I go ahead, use uh, Brook and Vista to counter and uh, survive that attack. And now he only has one attacker remaining on the field, so he's going to attack uh, with his leader into mine, 7k versus 5k. Nothing I can do, so I do get it. And I get a jet pistol. And I'm deciding, and ultimately, I decide to, to use it, right? So I use the trigger ability, activate the ability, even though it doesn't really take off any you know, it's not really a defensive play. It does get Garp off the board, which if I somehow did not win the game here, uh, would cause lots of problems later on. So, Garp onto the field. Plus, I didn't really want to use that Dawn later to get rid of something. I would have rather attach that onto a character and try and attack. So, now it's my turn. I draw into Otama, but in this case, I'm just gonna attach one onto Zoro and no blockers. So, pretty sure I, I am feeling it here. I do want to space out the attacks just a little bit, just to be safe. And so I swing in 7k with Curly to Dan. And with that attack, that's game. So yeah, that was the first gameplay uh, footage of OPO2 that I have up on the channel. Um, and honestly, I think that Zoro list, and if you've been following the OPO2 meta, Zoro is going to be an absolute menace just because those 1Ks are, are very threatening. And really, wide boards kind of thrive in this meta, in my opinion. So, um, and, and Zoro is the king of that. Now, that said, I was kind of expecting Smoker to be a bit of a tough matchup just because of I know how much... Uh, removal um, it has and also smoker itself as a leader his ability kind of thrives off uh, you know feasting essentially off of a, a one cost characters right because every single time you can be hitting for 7k if uh, if Anami is left on the board if uh, you know a chopper is left on the board and Zoro really likes building up boards with his uh, small cost of characters and then hitting uh, sort of lethal uh, towards the middle of the game, but kind of just swarming in on that life. So I was thinking that Smoker was going to be able to use that aggression to kind of outpace me a little bit. But to be honest, I think I got really lucky with, with a lot of the uh, cards that I had. And if I remember correctly, I don't think uh, my opponent saw like a Kobe once, right? And that is one of the primary uh, removal effects that you want to see when it comes to playing any of the Black Navy uh, decks. But just to really quick talk about some of the stats that came to when uh, recording this uh, this session. So we actually did play a couple of games and I do think the transparency of how these things are recorded uh, is important. So uh, what had happened was we did a couple practice matches in which I believe we went uh, one and one So I did lose to Smoker in the practice match. And then we went into recording the session in which we did three matches. And uh, I ended up winning two out of the three uh, matches there. So in total for this recording session, five matches uh, went uh, three and two. I can math. <laughs>
and maybe I'll post some of the other matches for uh, the members of the YouTube channel, uh, the commanders of the other decks, uh, just so that people can kind of have uh, some more examples of gameplay, and also a sample of Smoker uh, beating Zoro. If I remember correctly, um, he did end up finding a lot of his removal effects, and he did find Borsalino, uh, multiple Borsalinos to be honest, um, which he ultimately ended up not just defending with them, but also attacking with some of them. So it was a weird mix of aggression and defense that I really couldn't overcome in, uh, I believe that was the second of the three matches. But anyway, let me know what you think about the game overall. Let me know what you think about kind of either of these decks. Do you think Zoro's going to be good? Do you think Smoker's going to be good? Honestly, I am pretty high on Smoker, but I know that Zoro is, is going to be uh, the one that everyone is uh, aiming for in the meta, you know? But anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video uh, interesting, uh, entertaining, or, or educational, really, um, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of OPO2, so super excited about that. Be sure to check out the channel. Uh, we have the two deck profiles incoming, and as well as a bunch of other deck profiles, matches, tier list. Um, all of that will be coming soon, uh, very shortly. And if you're so inclined, check out this video over here. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And captains, remember, build what you like, play what you love, and I'll catch you in the next video.